Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam. In this beam, we have uniformly distributed load 6 kN per meter and it is acting in the left half span. The total length of the beam is 8 meter. Now we are going to find the fixed end moments MA and MB. For that, we can use formulas. If the fixed beam is subjected to uniformly distributed load for the left half span, the formula to find the fixed end moment in the point A is 11 WL square upon 192 and in the point B is 5 WL square upon 192. MA will be acting in the anti-clockwise direction and MB will be acting in the clockwise direction. In both of the formulas, let us apply the values. Here W is 6, L is 8. Finally, for MA, we have got 22 kN meter and for MB, we have got 10 kN meter. Alternatively, we can use integrations and find the fixed end moments. We know that if in the fixed beam, a concentrated load acts at the distance of A from the left, the formula to find MA is WAB square upon L square and to find MB is WA square B upon L square. In this portion, let us consider an elementary distance dx at a distance of x from the point A. So this distance should be 8 minus x. In the dx portion, the load w should be 6 dx. A is x and b is 8 minus x and L is 8. In the formula for ma, let us apply all of them so that we will get this. Then we can do the integration. The limits for the integration is 0 to 4. Now let us take a calculator and do this integration. If you do not know how to do integration in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and for MA, I have got 22 kN meter. Now, using this formula, we can find MP. Finally, for MB, we will get 10 kN meter. We have found MA and MB. Now, let us find the vertical reactions. First, I am going to find RA. For that, let us take a moment about B. In this case, we have to follow right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8. So 8 RA. The moment MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. Then we have to open a bracket. The UDL is acting for the distance of 4 meter. So 4 upon 2. We are taking moment about B. So we have to add the remaining distance that is 4. Then we can close the bracket. The moment MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. Finally for RA we will get 19.5 kN. Now let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and find Rb. Ra and Rb are acting upwards so both of them are positive. The UDL is acting downwards so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. Finally for Rb we will get 4.5 kN. Now we can draw the shear force diagram. I am going to find the shear force values from the point A and towards the point B. In this case I have to follow right hand side rule. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. 
Using this rule, I have calculated the shear force values. Here you can see the shear force diagram. In this point, the shear force becomes zero. In this point, there will be the maximum positive bending moment. In this point, we can make a section and find the bending moment. In that point, I have made a section at the distance of x from the point A. We know that in this section, the shear force is zero. Using that concept, we can find x. For x, I have got 3.25 meter. Now let us find the maximum positive bending moment. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. The vertical reaction VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3.25. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction so it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2. Finally, for the maximum positive bending moment, we agree 9.69 kN meter. Now, let us find the bending moment in the point A. In the point A, we have MA, which is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so that it will be negative. To find the bending moments in the points C and B, we can use a left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us find the bending moment in the point B. In the point B, we have MB, which is acting in the clockwise direction, so that it will be negative. Let us find the bending moment in the point C. MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. So 4.5 into 4. Finally, for the bending moment at C, we are getting 8 kN meter. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. In these two points, the bending moment becomes zero. We can make sections in these two points and find the distances. For the left side point, I have made the section at the distance of x from the point A. And for the right side point, I have made the section at a distance of x from the point B. Using the right hand side rule, we can find x which is 1.45 meter and using the left hand side rule we can find this x which is 2.22 meter. Let us enter both of them. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.